About two years ago, cloud computing started to move to the top of the IT leader's to-do list. Now many organizations are saying it's transforming the way that they work and communicate. But what exactly does that mean? I'm Mike Bugembe, the Chief Analytics Officer at Just Giving. We're big users of cloud computing. So Microsoft asked me to investigate. We'll start with a household name, m and Marks and Spencer is currently going through a large transformation, making sure we can respond to how customers want to interact with us. As part of that, we've invested in the Microsoft Office suite of collaboration tools to allow our colleagues to communicate much more easily than they have done in the past. Part of the Office 365 suite is Skype for Business, which includes video conferencing, messaging and presence. Another element is that we can share our desktops so that we all know that we're looking at and referencing the same content. We're based all across the country, so we use Yammer to share stories, to ask questions about different policies, get advice from, from different teams, um, and also raise awareness of the different work that we're doing. And it really does help people to collaborate in a better way um, and find answers to their queries really quickly. OneDrive allows us to store files centrally, and it allows us then to share them in a very secure way with version control operating very centrally. It does make it a lot more easy than it was in the past. One of the most exciting parts of Office 365 is OneNote, which runs across any device that you have and allows you to organise all of your notes into one place. Those notes can then be individually shared with whoever you like. So from a productivity point of view, OneNote is a really exciting product. It's fair to say that these tools have transformed the way that I work. When you use a third-party app such as Office 365, that's called software as a service. You sign up, you configure it, and you distribute it to your users. You don't have to worry about the hardware, because that's taken care of. But what if you want to develop your own applications and host them in the cloud? That's called Platform as a Service, and that's exactly what international currency provider Caxton FX is doing. We've been running systems that have been running on servers in our building, and those servers fall over. So by moving to Azure, we've now got a solution that is managed by somebody else and is guaranteed uptime. It was a no-brainer for us. From July last year to the launch of the product in January, we built a complete new trading platform, core banking platform, customer care, a customer facing website, and a brand new marketing website using all the latest things on the Azure platform. If we'd had to build that ourselves, it would have taken us maybe five times as long. If the regulation in, say, Singapore says you've got to keep our customers' personal data within territory, I can do it. I can bring up a new database in a suitable data center that Microsoft supplies in Azure and it's fully integrated into the environment straight away. Previously, I'd have had to send people out to Singapore, find a data center would have been a complete nightmare. Anybody that deals with credit cards or debit cards um, comes under the remit of PCI compliance. The Microsoft data centers are already PCI compliant. For a company of our size, it makes a huge difference having somebody taking that off our plate. My next visit is to Dunhumby a world leader in providing direct marketing to consumers, working for large brands. They needed a solution to provide personalized, real-time recommendations to millions of online shoppers all over the world. Unlike Caxton FX, Dunhumby didn't need a ready-made development environment, but they wanted access to server hardware without the pain and the cost of engaging and maintaining a global network of data centers. That's called infrastructure as a service. Then Humby focused on direct marketing to customers. We wanted to engage with customers digitally, so we needed to take our Dunhumby science um, and start activating that in, in the digital channels. We wanted to talk to people while they're online, and millions of people at a time, and understand what they like, what they don't like, and personalise their shopping experience as they shop. The quantity of calls that we would be getting could be you know, 10,000 transactions per second, and to be able to deal with that kind of volume of traffic at scale, robustly in any market, is going to be a challenge for anyone. But we don't have to worry about it right now because we use Azure and we have response times under 30 milliseconds. So that's an incredible thing to be able to deliver. With Azure, you're not locked in to just use Microsoft technology. I love the fact there's now HD Insight, so you can use Hadoop. I love the fact that you can support Linux, you know, and we use all of that stack. But I also love the support you get around Azure. We totally understand the value of having Microsoft behind some of these technologies who can support and help us when we need it. 
Delivering recommendations in milliseconds to customers on the other side of the world requires an end-to-end -end process which is gigantic. If we had to build that entire thing, we'd be here forever. We can concentrate just on the delivery end and that's the really important part for us because that's where we can add value. Microsoft takes care of the rest. When you don't have to worry about hardware, it allows you to focus on the thing that you do best. And that's my experience. We came to the point where we understood that relationships give us a really good indication of what you care about and the things that are most relevant to you. And that's where Microsoft really began to play its part because that created a huge amount of data. Looking at our data as a graph of nodes and relationships meant that we had 70 million nodes and 283 million types of relationships that were expressed within the graph. We realized that the technology that we had in place couldn't provide a solution. Um, the numbers were too great to generate personalized experiences on the fly. So we looked to the cloud, we looked to the raw computing power that we could tap into and scale from time to time. And in Windows Azure, we found our solution. What's great about the platform and the direction it's going is that it's completely aligned with all of our objectives. We want to be able to respond in real time. We also want to be on your mobile. And Microsoft technologies allow us to achieve those objectives very quickly. It feels like we've created something that can make a positive difference in the world and you just want to shout about it. Of course security is important for Just Giving, just as it is for every organization that we visited, and Microsoft's cloud is officially recognized. So there you have it. All the organizations we visited are doing things they could never have done before. And just like me, they're able to focus on their core strengths and progress faster because of the cloud.